guys, Brian here. I am outside the Aventura Resort, about to get on this bus to the parks. It is 7.30 a.m. and I am on my way to the early park admission at Universal Studios Florida. This is a benefit for any on-site hotel guest. You don't get the Express Pass unless you're in the deluxe resorts, which are Royal Pacific, Hard Rock, or Portofino Bay, but all of them get the early entry or early park admission option. And I'm gonna head over there. Like I said, it is 7.30, I'm getting on this bus. The bus driver is kind of sitting over there right now, so I don't know exactly when it's leaving, but hopefully it will get us there early enough. Okay, so now I am at City Walk here. The bus took off at 7.33 exactly. Dropped this off at almost exactly 7.40, so seven minute drive, I guess. Drops you off. Right at the escalator, you take up to the security station at City Walk, which is what's back there. Still early in the morning. It is now 7.43 is all. So security was a breeze knowing there. I'm on the fantastic moving walkway right now, which are really one of the best inventions in the world. I kind of want one from a house. Please. To get from like the kitchen to the living room or something. Now we have to walk through City Walk over to Universal Studios. I do wonder how much longer it would have actually taken to walk. I mean, probably in time-wise, not much. It's just, you know, a little bit more walking, I guess. Although I am going to Universal Studios Florida, which would, be, would have been further away from my hotel than Islands of Adventure. Either way, I am now at City Walk here. Welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. Now I am approaching. I'm still technically in City Walk, right next to the NBC Grill and Brew, right there. Just picking up my pace a little bit because I see down, I see down there in the water a uh, boat from, I assume, the Royal Pacific Sapphire Falls run has just pulled up, and I am trying to make sure I get to the gates before those people in case there are lines there. The iconic Universal Globe and the Universal Studios Florida gates. Honestly, one of the things I love here is the music. The whole way on the bus, they were playing Jurassic Park music and E.T. music, all that wonderful uh, John Williams score that is scores so many of the movies they have here. So, all right, people are already in the park. I'm almost at the ticket turnstile. I will have to show my park ticket and my room key to prove that I am staying on site and I'll see you inside. All right, I was slightly wrong. You only have to show your ticket to get that far. You can get in right here and hang out in this area near Despicable Me and eat breakfast right there if you want. Of course, shopping at the Hello, Universal good Studio morning, Store. Everyone. Good morning, Universal Orlando um, Resort. And then to get this past this point key. right here, ERB. where they have these fences up, is where you need your room key. I got this little cat in the hat one, but it's upside down. <laughs> was a joke and I was holding it upside down. Now I am inside, it is still 7.50, 10 minutes until officially early park admission. It looks like they're testing Rip Ride Rocket. That is not an early admission attraction. Uh, as far as I know, the only early admission attractions are Revenge of the Mummy and Escape from Gringotts. What they're doing with Despicable Me now is starting it early, but allowing anyone to ride. So I've heard that they've been starting at anywhere from like 8.15 to 8.45. So even if you're not staying on site, it's a good idea to be here early. You can at least get that out of the way because that does get long lines later in the day. It loads pretty slowly and it's popular. Revenge of the Mummy is open. It is posted at a 10 minute wait. At, and honestly, it's, it's not even technically early park admission yet. I would actually jump on and ride it. I like that ride quite a lot. What I don't like is having to put my bag in a locker for every ride. So I'm gonna skip it this morning. It's San Francisco on my way to Diagon Alley with, to be honest, almost everyone else. The, uh, I would say 98% of the people that have walked into the park have continued on towards Diagon Alley with the other 2% jumping on Revenge of the Mummy there. I'm not sure which one would be the best plan. It kind of depends what the wait for Escape from Gringotts is going to be when I get there, but I guess we'll find out together. Of course, the old earthquake, the ride now, 
part of the building being used for Fast and the Furious supercharged all the entrance for Fast and the Furious is back there a little bit. I asked the conductor outside the Hogwarts Express what time the, that opens because obviously because the other park isn't opening until nine today. This one obviously opens for resort guests at eight. She said it doesn't run until right about nine. Basically they don't want the train to get there until nine. So here we are. Good morning. And this is something I don't know that I'll ever get tired of. And that is walking through the wall, sort of around the wall, and into Diagon Alley. Escape from Gringotts also posted at 10 minutes, so this was probably the smart decision. Mummy won't have as long a line as this will. And you can probably backtrack and go back to Mummy right after this and do them both. Uh, this one I think I am gonna ride, so I gotta put my stuff away. Now it is 8.21 as I film this. I'm not sure exactly how long the wait was, but it was somewhere around 15 minutes, I think. Uh, which still isn't bad, and like I said, I actually got on. I actually got in line before 8 o'clock, before the early entry technically even started. I don't know exactly what time they started letting people in and running it, but it was before 8, so definitely try to be here a little bit earlier than I did. It is Sunday, August 19th as I'm filming this. I don't know exactly what the crowd level is. I don't think it's super high, but still, it's early entry. This is a great time to just explore Diagon Alley. This is the emptiest you will almost ever see. I think I'm going to go do that. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be excellent to each other.